And here we have, <laughs> I always just sit here during this part. Come on, Tasteless. Down here in the bottom left, our Zerg player who lost that first game, he is... FXO Lino. Wow. That's so funny that I just sit here. I'm like waiting for Tasteless to intro the players so that I can do my thing. Over here in the top right, he won that first game looking very strong. He is... TSA Symbol. And, uh, you know, Symbol's a really good ZVZ player. If anyone remembers, back when Nest T was still pretty much unbeatable in the matchup, Symbol's someone who took him down uh, when he still had like 90% wins or whatever. So uh, he's been a strong ZVZ player for a very long time. Symbol really just kind of strong at all the matchups, to be honest. Uh, he's been one of the, he's one of these players I really thought would win a GSL this year. Uh, hasn't done it yet, but he's had some pretty good results. Now, both players going hatch first. So we're going to watch this production tab, guys. Because sometimes that's how ZVZ is. Sometimes you watch the production tab and you wait to see where they differ. So, again, uh, Tasteless not... Uh, doing well today. He has a dislocated rib. He's in terrible pain on pain meds right now. Uh, we're still going to go to Shanghai tomorrow unless something else occurs for the BWC. So everyone, please go ahead and watch that this weekend. The Blizzard World Championships. A lot of GSL players will be there. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be so sick. Can't wait to go and see everyone. Uh, but Wolf is going to be coming down to the studio pretty soon here. I think he's going to be here really soon. Uh, maybe for the next best of three. Maybe partway through or something like that. His best threes can be pretty quick. But anyways, both players doing basically the same thing here. A little bit quicker gas here for Leenok. Not surprised again. Uh, if you look at these two stylistically speaking, uh, Symbol is more the macro player. Leenok is more the aggressive player. They both uh, can play both varieties. I would say Leenok uh, more well-rounded in that regard. We don't see Symbol cheese quite as much. He's not like... DRG level of not cheesy, but you know, this is ZVZ. A match where cheese isn't even cheese, it's just good. <laughs> so, we do have speed on the way for Lenok first, of course. Not that far behind, though, for his opponent. Symbol getting that pretty quickly as well. Both players getting their couple queens. Still watching that production tab, waiting for something new to occur. It's not happening, though. These guys not trying to give me any breaks. Solo casting a ZVZ that doesn't doesn't have any differences in the builds. Pretty difficult. Both players getting Banley Ness. I mean, just a few seconds ahead for Leon because he did get that gas a little bit, a little bit sooner. Still mining his gas. Production tab. Still looking the same. I hope you guys are enjoying your Artosis solo cast. Solo cast a la, a la Artosis or something. I don't know. I'm American. I only speak one language. The name of that language, of course, is American. Um, all right, here we go. Here's something to talk about. Evolution Chamber for Leenok coming up. So that means he's going to be going Roaches because it's one Evolution Chamber. Uh, if you get two, there's always a possibility it's going to be a lot of Lings, but with one, it's going to be a Roach Attack. Uh, as far as symbol goes... Oh, wait, that... Wait, do I have the colors messed up? No, I don't. Okay. They both got that. Okay, so Leenok is actually going for the quick carapace. Now that's kind of interesting. Let me think about this for a second. So, going quick carapace, uh, if you look at what happens, if your opponent... Now, Leenok might be thinking, okay... Let me just make sure I can see exactly what he has. Okay, yeah. Uh, Leenok might be thinking, okay, you might be going for some sort of roach timing attack. And if you do a roach timing attack, you're going to want that plus one... Uh, that plus one armor. 
I mean, plus one attack, because it makes you two-shot Zerglings. But if he gets the quick plus one armor, his Zerglings are going to do surprisingly well against that. The thing is, Symbol doesn't have an evolution chamber yet. It, in fact, Symbol, if I had to guess here, is going to be going for Mutas. And in fact, Leenok could possibly be going for Mutas as well. This is getting kind of neat. All right, Symbol throws down his Roach Warren, so apparently not. Sometimes you do get Roach Warren when you're going to use just in case he's, if they're coming at you with something crazy, but he's not. He is going for Infestor, and Symbol is more of an Infestor Zerg anyways. So, Leenok, in the meantime, he's going to be taking his third hatch, and this really tells us Mutas. It really, really... The, the plus one Carapace already kind of told us, but now it's looking even more so. And Symbol, upon seeing that hatchery, 16 lings immediately. And then Lenox starts a Roach Warren and an Infestation Pit. Okay, well, I guess I was wrong about this Carapace. I am still interested in this Carapace because I feel like the analysis of that was okay. <laughs> but I guess he's got... Uh, I'm trying to think what else uh, the, the plus one Carapace does. Because in Roach vs. Roach, you want attack over Carapace because uh, the attack gives plus two, the Carapace gives plus one. So it really can only be for Lings against... Lings and Roaches it just means that you're going to make more Lings. That plus one Carapace. And he does have it now, so his Lings doing better than they should, but Symbol just has more here. Uh, so he is able to overwhelm that anyways. Carapace not really coming into play yet. And he's eliminating these Banelings very well. Only one Baneling left for Symbol out of those four. He definitely could have had two left if he was a little bit more careful. And in fact, he loses that one as well. And Lee not going to end up doing okay here with that plus one. We do have a lot of roaches on the way for Symbol. He's getting that roach speed as well. Uh, and in fact, ooh, well done by Leenok. It's always interesting to watch uh, the counterattacks, the attacks and counterattacks on third bases, because if you deny their third and keep yours, you're way ahead. But normally you'll like kill off theirs, and then they go kill yours and stuff like that. But right now, Symbol, he has a strong group of roaches. Uh, his plus one is going to finish. And of course, that carapace is going to make the Ling still worthwhile on Leenok, because they are going to take those three hits from Roaches. So, I guess, you know, he does have enough Lings. You know, it might be the fact that he got that so quickly, was thinking, well, we're going to have the Ling battles anyways on hatches, which means I'm going to have extra Lings, so why not? And so far, it's worked out well for him because of that. All right, so, right now, he is still trying to get another cancel here. Symbol might just barely save that. In the meantime, these Roaches coming over, he really wants to get that hatch. Saves his own hatch. Now, Leenok has these lings. They have their extra carapace, which is nice. And he's making a lot of roaches. So, uh, Symbol decides to get out of there, which is a good idea, because look at that. A lot of infestors, roaches, and lings. He definitely wouldn't be able to kill that. So, here we have Leenok with the finished hatch. He's kept it alive the entire time. Ooh, very nicely done, killing off Queen. But... Symbol, his hatch just now going to finish. Let's take a look at the drone count. 50 against 47. So Symbol's actually up by 3. Uh, and the hatch, it looks like overall not going to end up mattering as much as it could have. Sometimes we see that ending up being a big deal because someone gets that, ro that uh, drone advantage a little bit more. But Leenok had to make some extra units because Symbol was pushing with those that huge group of roaches. So... He actually kind of equalized where they were at, despite having to cancel his hatch earlier on. Okay, that was a mouthful. Got to drink a little bit of tea. All right, now Symbol going for a little counterattack here. He's got to be careful, because he's going to be running into Fungal Gross. But these roaches, they do have speed, and they are trying to get through there. Is he going to suicide on the hatch? No, he's going to send some up here. And he's trying to do some multi-prong stuff, but I don't know how well it's going to work. He does have Burrow. And I guess that's what he's counting on. He wants to split up everything into different locations. Three roaches in the main. I think he threw a couple at the natural and definitely had some at the third. But this is getting cleaned up very well by Leenok right now. And Symbol is falling behind in supply. Ooh, nice bro there. Yeah, he'll probably, yep, just bro there as well. So this is, uh, this is pretty annoying to have to send overseers all over the place. I mean, I guess that is what they're supposed to do. They are overseers. Go see those roaches over there. Uh, and will he get the other one? Because that can be really annoying later. Yeah, he got it. Okay, and so now it looks like he's cleaned up all this little harassment. And taking a look, very similar drone, 60 against 62. As far as roaches go, very similar as well. But Leenok has the Infestor lead, 9 to 4. 
Now, we do have more coming out for Symbol a little bit later, but uh, Infestor numbers aren't all that matters with Infestors like it is with Roaches. It's also how long they've been out for how much energy they can have. So that, you know, Lenok does have a little bit of a lead there. Now we do have a lot of... Oh, look at this. These Lings running in right now, going after this Queen. And, in fact, beautiful Burrow. And some nice fungals going down. These Infestors have a ton of energy. He's going to continue to fungal, but here come Lenox Infestors. A lot of Infested Terrans going down. The thing is, his Roaches are cleaned up so quickly. I'm not sure what these Infested Terrans are going to have doing. There's still a lot of fungals left over uh, for, for Symbol here. So Symbol, <coughs> excuse me, even though he felt a little bit behind with that harassment that didn't end up working, Lenok just kind of gave it back to him. His Infestors lagged too far behind. He's got a little bit overeager, but oh, nice snipe there on the Infestor. And our Infestor counts now. God, only three now for Symbol. A lot of them being cleaned up, whereas Lenok still has eight. And we do have some multi-pronged attacks going on here for Lenok. Lenok is making his fourth base during all this. So the supply, very, very similar, but... I'm scared for Symbol right now. He's making a lot of roaches, and he only has three infestors. So what Lenok actually needs to do right now is fall back. He's continuing to advance, but this is absolutely not what he should do. Uh, he needs to be really careful and regain his infestor energy. That's where his lead is right now. Uh, yeah, I mean, with, with infestors that are getting up to like 25 energy, then 50 energy, yeah, you can go in there and attack with a similar number of roaches and throw up infested Terrans, but... You're at your opponent's rally points. At this state of the game, you're not going to be able to kill them off. You're not going to kill a base if they play well. Uh, but when you've killed off so many Infestors, I feel like you can back up, wait for a little bit more energy. You know, wait for 75 energy, wait for 100 energy, and get in there and utilize your huge Infestor count with your Roaches. But we'll see. Uh, he kind of is doing that at this point. He's really saving up his energy instead of just constant attacks, which is good. Now, both players are going to be maxing out here. Symbol, once again, with the Hydras. So any head-on attacks, he might do a little bit better. In, but Infestor count, once again, a lot of that gas for Symbol going into Hydras, whereas he's only got five Infestors against the 13 of Lenok. So Lenok, you know, he, he's got to be careful about this. In fact, he is getting his uh, Hydra upgrade as well, the, the Groove Spines for range. So we might see him throw in some Hydras after this battle. That's a powerful strategy in ZvZ. If you lose a huge chunk of army to remax quickly with uh, Roach Hydra, you're going to have a very powerful ground army, whereas everyone's out of Infestor energy. And they can't really uh, dictate that, that battle anymore. And you can make that big heads-up battle actually occur with your... your good damage output armor. Anyways, here we go. A lot of Infested Terran eggs coming down. A lot of the Roaches of Lenok actually just running around behind, whereas Symbol has a much better Concave, but that is a lot of Roaches at the natural, and a lot of Infested Terrans as well. It looks like we're going to have Symbol probably clear out this area down here, but the Roaches going for his natural and main are really what matter here, and they're dealing a ton of damage. And yeah, it looks like Lenok has done a much better job this game than Symbol. Very good job by Lenok here. And in fact, he is doing that Remax I was talking about before. A lot of Roaches, a lot of Hydras. And while he could use these defensively, I feel like he definitely could attack right now as well. If he just does a dedicated attack, the only thing you would have to worry about is a base trade. And I think at this point, the base trade is unlikely for Symbol to go for something like that. He just doesn't have the type of army you want now. So Symbol's starting to move out, thinking he might have a little army lead right now. You know, a lot of his supply and drones was lost, so a big chunk of the supply you're seeing that he has is actually an army. He does have 40 roaches against just 22 of Lenok. Four Hydras, though, against 19 Lenok Hydras, and three Infestors against 13. So even though he's got that big roach count, that's... I mean, roaches aren't long-term units, so the longer you go in the game, the more that the Infestors are going to pay off for Lenok here. So we have Symbol moving around the map, trying to figure out what he can get done. We out a few Overlords on the way, which is nice. These Hydras giving Lenok a lot of instant strength. In fact, he started 10 more. He realizes that at this point, all he really needs to do right this second is hold. 
He just needs to not die. And in fact, oh my god, good fungal growth. And when you have Hydras in your army, those fungal growths worth even more because they have so much range in the back. They're very often not useless. Always useful, I guess is a much better way to say that. And in fact, Symbol Supply does fall once again. He is making 10 more roaches. Not sure how useful those would be. And Symbol's coming in again against the Infested Terrans. Nice roach group up at the top, but it does get fungled beautifully, and these Hydras just go into town. It looks like Leenok just has enough roaches and Infested Terrans to buffer, and GG. A well-played game there by Leenok coming back, tying it up 1-1 with Symbol. Okay. Leenok. Always calm and cool. Never feels the pressure. Well, I guess he feels it, but never succumbs to it. Symbol really looking to get into this round of eight. He's made round of eight before, but you know he hasn't gone all the way. He hasn't. In fact, Symbol's. I don't believe he's ever been in a round of four. <coughs> yeah, and uh, that's kind of rough because he's such a strong zerg. In fact. Uh, we were thinking he would win the season that Seed won, but Seed knocked him out in that round of eight. Well, maybe he can get through this time. Now, the map that Symbol has chosen is Antigua Shipyard. Cool to see. You don't see too many Zergs choose Antigua Shipyard too often. But, of course, in ZBZ, how often do you really get to that fourth base? Sometimes, but, you know, Block games are decided before that. Now, one thing to note is that we oftentimes see timing attacks on this map, and we oftentimes see mutas on this map. The third base and then the main base are kind of far away from each other. It's hard to cover all that correctly. And But when you take a third, it's kind of easy for someone to go up there, put on some pressure, and try to run in. But, I mean, we'll, we'll see what these guys go for. This is the third game. The winner will go on to fight Sulky for a spot in the top eight. Loser has to play against Light. Ouch. Imagine that. If he loses, you go down and you play the last GSL champion to try to stay in the Code S. It's pretty crazy. All right, well, Antigua Shipyard, guys. We'll be starting this in just a second. These guys are ready. So we should be starting the countdown momentarily. Again, if you're just tuning in, Tasteless has a bad injury today. His rib is like dislocated, I guess it is. Uh, he's in a lot of pain. I had to go to the hospital earlier. He's on some medication now. Still going to BWC tomorrow. The Blizzard World Championships in Shanghai. So make sure you guys all tune in to that over the weekend. Check my Twitter, at Artosis, for updates. I'll link to the stream stuff. Anyways, this is the GSL. It's game three of Lenox going up against Symbol. The map, Antigua Shipyard. This is the Code S.